Hi everybody, today we're gonna go over this Otterbox Venture 45, which is basically 45 quarts. This box is made in the USA, designed in the USA, and assembled in the USA. <clears throat> but some of the parts may come from different origins, such as China and whatnot. So this Otterbox is designed in the USA and assembled in the USA. And all raw materials always come from different places of the world, of course. And this is a giant cooler. So Otterbox has these little things on the end, or on the side of the cooler, to allow basically attachments like a, a bottle opener or whatnot. And it basically allows you to customize your Otterbox a little bit more. To open up the otter box, you have to take off these clamps and open each end, and then voila, you open it. This is the top, and it says on the right side of where that bear is, it says bear resistance, IB, IGBC certified bear resistant. So this is a bear resistant box, not a bear proof box. Inside you'll find this. And a bottle opener. And information about your box and a decal. That's pretty much it inside. Here you'll see the release valve to release the water or liquids in this box. This container was what I took out and it fits on the top of this box. It's only one way, <clears throat> but it's the top of the box. So you can put other miscellaneous things here. This also came with the box. It's a bottle opener and it goes on the little side that I mentioned earlier. And you can just basically put this in. Like so. And it clips in and it's pretty sturdy inside. So just keep that in mind. To close the lid, you would close it and put this in here like so. Push it in clamp and that's how you close it. This is how it looks closed and it's really durable. This box is pretty heavy for compared to the Pelican 50 that I have. On the sides you have these handles, they're pretty big and they protrude out like so. This is the back of the box and this is the bottom. And there's basically rubber mounts here. They're held in. I don't know how they're held in, but they grip to the glass pretty well, so you can't really slide it along. This is the release valve to release water from the cooler. And it's just basically a valve. Pretty indented. Pretty intense don't need to do very much there, just making sure that it's locked in. So that is the Otter Box, and it's pretty heavy for a cooler. Don't fill it, fill it up before you move it. So move it first, then fill it up with ice or whatever you need to do, because it's extremely heavy. And adding ice and liquids in your food will be extremely heavier. So let me give you some measurements. Lengthwise, it's 32 inches. Height-wise, is almost 20 inches. It's about 19 point something. And how deep it is, from here to here, it's 16 inches, just about. So those are rough estimates using this mighty old tape. But yeah, those are rough estimates. So, I got this on sale for about $150. That was extremely inexpensive. Originally, it was $300. This was on Best Buy's um, I guess the sale and it was like selling out like fire. Um, it's a really heavy box, so just keep that in mind compared to my Pelican Elite Pro, which is a 50 liter, I mean 50 quarts. Overall, it's a good box on the heavy end. Um, $300 is kind of a lot of money, and I wouldn't spend $300 on this if you can get the Pelican 50 for a 350 or whatnot. I got that on sale as well. 
So if you can find it around $200, this is a good deal. But anything above $200, you can find another box that's better. Some nice features to this box is that uh, there's attachments you could put on here as well as other accessories that OtterBox offers. I believe it was like a, a cutting board slash separator where the grooves fit inside the OtterBox. And the release valve on the side, it fits a standard hose so you can actually connect the hose to it and drain it somewhere else, which is kind of cool. Additionally, OtterBox has a limited war lifetime warranty, so this will be covered for a lifetime depending on what the problem is. Some coolers, that or have better warranty, like Canyon coolers, which is a lifetime warranty. It doesn't matter what, if it's damaged, they will take it back. I don't know about this warranty. My understanding is that it covers the defects, but not long-term damage or wear and tear. So overall, a pretty good cooler. On the heavy side, I would rate this about a five out of 10 for this type of cooler. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but I think because it's a, a bear resistant, resistant box, it's heavier, and that's fair to say. The thickness of the Otter Box is really thick compared to a regular cooler. It's thicker than the Pelican that I have as well. This is supposed to hold about seven days of ice, and I read on reviews it said it could hold seven days of ice, but to a certain extent, the Pelican. Elite Pro holds the best ice so far from reviewing the reviews. But I like this box, this is a little bit cheaper and it's smaller and the way the handles protrude out are very better than the Pelican. Um, I wish this case was different because having the handles out like that, I don't like it because it, it's like wasted space to me when I put it into my cargo van. But overall, I would recommend this to just have if you can find it at a good price, of course. I hope this overview helped you, and thank you for watching. Take care.